Hey there, YouTube. Uh, today we're going to look at, uh, oh, what is this thing? Uh, Titans Return, Autobot, Test Lore, and Autobot Brainstorm? Brainstorm. Um, this is a Walgreens exclusive, I think in 2016. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a different color than the, uh, the original G11, Generation 1-1, one, one. <laughs> G11. One, one. Uh, it's a, like more of a green color, like a teal. In this in this video, it looks more. Uh, it's looking like almost exactly the same color, but it's actually more of a like a greenish color. Um, yeah. If you want the bluish one, I guess you have to get one of those. Uh, import one of those Japanese ones. The uh, the Takara. Uh, LG series, Legend series, whatever they call them. Okay, so it comes with the uh, the spaceship mode. It rolls really good. Oh. Um, it's got this little thing here. I don't know what it does. I've never used it. It's like a little lever of some sort. Different to handle, probably. Or landing gear. I don't know. Landing upside down. <laughs> Boat mode. Alternate boat mode. Oh, I guess you can make it into a boat, huh? There's a little spot in there. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, uh, yeah. So there's a little windscreen. I bought this purely because I think there's a little guy inside. Yeah. It's like a translucent yellow there. Got the little guy. He's, uh, he's got an orange face. And, uh... Unlike some of the Titans Returns, he actually has the uh, metal knee joint. I don't know, is the hip? Yeah, the hip's metal too. Some of them have the uh, the plastic. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Ah, there we go. Kind of see it. Yeah. So the legs do the uh, the vintage Titan headmaster type thing with the uh, fold backwards over the uh, back of the head, double joint. Uh, the knees and or both legs are attached and then the calves are attached. So same same thing. Yeah. The orange face is nice. And the bolt on the center so you can like put them together, take them apart. I don't know. Whatever you want to do with them. It's your choice. <laughs> Got a face. It's pretty cool. Orange again, so the face and the thing matches. I think this is test lore. Or Tesla, or whatever you want to call it. Tesla, I like Tesla better, but it's a, I think it's supposed to be a boy transformer because most transformers are boys now, right? So, yeah. Anyways, um, so this is a redo of uh, the first wave. I think it was first wave, maybe second wave. Uh, Titans Return, Blur, which is basically almost the exact same, but blue. You know, he just sits in there. You know, you can. He put his arms forward. He can sit in there. There we go. <laughs> Zoom. There we go. And then you can close it. It clicks into place. It's like a little snap. If you put it too low, it's hard to open. Okay, so we pop him out. Okay, let's see. What order do I want to pop transform him in? Let's see. We got the. Uh, Pop uh, these arms out. These, these become the arms. Like that. Yeah. Pop this back. I don't really ever use that as a shield, but I guess you can use it as a shield. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> Flip them over. Fold the wings back. It's got a nice like this. This tan is really nice, like vintagey looking uh, brown, brownish gray. I kind of like it. There's a peg there. Another peg there. Don't know what they're for. Got two pegs. Okay, pop the little hand thing over. I mean, you've seen a million of these. If you're if you're looking at this video, you've probably seen uh, this thing. This this transformer be transformed like a million times. There's probably a million videos of this on uh, on the uh, YouTube's. Fold it over, just like on the old. Um, oh, what do you call it? It's like a reverse version of the uh, of uh, Nightbeat from G1. Okay, we'll flip over. Fold those in. Flip the feet down, pop it apart. 
Oh, I forgot to put this little, there's a little wing here. I'll we'll fold that inside or else it looks weird, right? <laughs> you don't really have to do it if you don't want to. I guess it's your way. Um, I did this, the, the bad thing here with the uh, windshield makes it super hard to open. So if you let it fold all the way flat like that, see this is little, this little flap here. That is very frustrating to, uh, yeah, see and this thing, there's like a little edge here. You can see it right in front of my fingernail. You kind of got to stick your fingernail in there and just, okay, there. Oh, that was my workout for the day. Okay, let's close this up. There we go. I guess you could also put a put a Titan Master inside there. That'd be pretty cool. You could like sit in there and like hang out, be a face. I'm like, hey, look, I'm a stomach face. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, we do that. We gotta get this guy. He's all like, look, I'm a Tetris piece. Do 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 do. Okay, here it is. Um, see, yeah, there we go. Got a face. And there's a there's like a neck hole there. So you get a good picture of it. Yeah, there we go. And the uh. This goes into the hole. There you go. And he looks like that. I think he has a gun too somewhere. I don't know where it is, but he has a gun. Pretty cool. Pretty uh, pretty great figure. Let's see if we can get a full body shot there. There we go. These wings go up on the side there. They've got a. This looks like it's like um printed on instead of being stickers, which is nice. Um, old school, I don't know what people call them, like tampos or something. I don't know what they're called. Like, you know, it's like a temporary tattoo. I don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. I think that one's a sticker in there. Inside the chest. Let's get that in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's get that to, there we go. Yeah, I think that one's actually a sticker. I don't know. It might be printed too. Who knows? But printing's cool. And then this right here, this backpack actually comes off. I actually pull it off. And like, I guess it's supposed to be like, this, this is what this little peg is for. I guess you can like hold it or I don't know what it's for. No, we can't hold it. It's like upside down landing, uh, upside down landing gear here. Like, does it go in his hand? No. What is it for? I don't know. You can put it on his arm, I guess. You can have a shield. You can do like a shield thing. I never do that because it wears down the paint and also I don't really oh I guess that is actually pretty cool I've never done that before I've had this figure for a whole what three four months never done that anyways that's it that's what we got for uh this guy oh one other thing I want to pop this head off here just because everybody this is what everybody cares that actually cares about like not as much as they care about like transformers and titans returns and all that stuff what they care about this is the really the big thing right Got this little guy here. Let's see if I can, yeah, yeah, there we go. And then we want to see how big he is compared to a daikon. <laughs> we got we got to check this out so you can see just how big they are. They are like a third taller than the daikons. The, the the old daikons and the new daikons are pretty much the same height. So, so this is maybe what uh, an inch, one point uh, one point two inches, uh, two and a half centimeters. Ooh. Hi. Alright, here he is. Hi. Hi, you did. Hi. And this guy's like, Hi, 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 you did. And that's, uh, they're, they're pretty similar in size, and you can actually use, you can put the little diaclones inside the, uh, most of the Titans Return stuff, and it, it pretty much scales. So, pretty nice. That's about it. Thanks for watching.